Hello SPSO members. This support video is how to submit your product feed to Google Shopping. And there's also a support article on the Big Commerce side and I've actually pulled it up and how I found this is I Google searched uh, submitting my product feed Big Commerce and then this came up and it's a support article to show you how to keep your AdWords campaign up to date. There's a couple of different ways to get the product feed into the Google Shopping feed, but there's only one way we can do it because there's so much data um, that Google ends up, yeah, I guess you can say locking up um, when it comes to putting it, putting, getting all of the products inputted because there's so many products on this website. So the best thing to always do is to have your webmaster tools and or your Google Merchant Center up. At this point, we don't need the webmasters tools to, to, uh, to get the product feed in. Um, so if you Google search Google Merchant Center, then you'll be able to, to pull up your account. And this is, this is your Merchant Center. This is where we actually input the data feeds. Um, this data feed's actually running, so I'm going to try to basically show you how to get this manually inputted because we're not going to be able to, to do what's called the frugal upload. So if you actually look at the support article, it'll show you the, the step by step directions on how to export your products into the, in, into the feed. So if you're on the back end, and this is a test site, if you're on the back end of your website, um, which I'm sure all of you know how to go on the back end, if you click on marketing, and then you scroll down to Google Shopping Feed. And if you go ahead and click on that, it's going to ask you what country. Obviously, we're going to click the United States. And then there's two different ways to do it. This way is, is the one that tends to lock up. And this is, the, this is the one that works every single time. So I've already actually exported these products, so I'm actually going to close this out because this takes about 10 minutes to do. And once once it's done being exported, it, it will it will basically ask you um, it will ask you to to uh, download. Here's here's the actual feed, and it says Google Base Feed XML. So I'm actually going to drag this to my desktop, and I'm going to put this Google Base Feed right on my desktop. And this is, this is the way that Google actually recognizes the actual feed. So I'm going to go back into my Webmaster Tools account, or actually the Merchant Center, excuse me, and I'm going to click on Data Feeds. Right now we do have a current data feed that's currently running, so you're going to click on New Data Feed. And from here, we're going to obviously say that it's in the United States. You're going to go GPS underscore. Hang on one second. I, I want to make sure that I do it the exact way that, that they're doing it. GPS underscore feed dot XML. GPS underscore feed dot XML. Go ahead and click Save Changes. Now, because I've already used this file name on my computer with multiple data feeds that I've done, I'm going to actually add a number in front of that, and I'm going to call this GPS underscore, I'm going to call this 45 feed.xml. That's the reason why I got that error code is because that, that is already actually in my system. So now, now that I know that this the file is going to be called GPS underscore 45 feed dot XML. I need to go, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to just click one left click on the bottom and I'm going to erase this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that. So now it's going to know that this is the file that it's going to be looking for. So I'm going to go back into the data feed and I'm going to create a schedule. And we are not going to create a schedule. We're going to do the manual upload. The schedule is, is what actually gets locked up. So we're going to actually create a manual upload. 
and it's asking for us to choose the file. It's looking for a file that says GPS underscore 45 feed dot XML. So if you click choose file, then from here we're going to actually go to our desktop and we're going to find the file that says GPS underscore feed dot XML. We're going to open that file. Now notice here this doesn't happen every single time, but you always have to kind of watch out for this and I'm actually glad it happened this time so I don't have to make another support video on it. It's looking for right now, it's looking for GPS underscore 45 dot XML, but when I pushed it over and chose the file, it actually put .xml.xml. .xml. So it's not going to find it's not going to find this this file. And so how we fix that problem is we actually go back in, we rename this file and take the actual .xml out. So it's just going to be called GPS underscore 45 feed. So I'm actually glad that this happened on the tutorial video so that you guys can see what can happen. It doesn't happen every single time. So now we're going to go choose the file. We're looking for the file on our desktop. And here it is, GPS 45 feed. When I push that over, now you can see there's only one .xml on there. So when we, I'm not going to click upload and process this file because we've already, I've already got, I've already got an AdWords campaign going. So from here, if if I were to click upload and process this file, it'll probably take about an hour, and then and then what, and then that's basic, that's basically the manual upload. So from there, you can go into your AdWords account, and you can actually see, actually, if you go into the Merchant Center, you'll, you'll see. The Merchant Center will show you how many how many items are actually currently visible uh, through Google. Google is very picky. One time you can have eighteen thousand items that that are that are working um, on the Google Shopping feed. Sometimes you know it's more. Sometimes it's a little less. A lot of it has to do with attributes. How's Google feeling today? You know th that that type of situation. But um, that's basically that's basically how you. That, that's basically how, how you get that done.